Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can sketch the region of integration in multivariable calculus. In double integral, how we can reverse the order of integration in double integrals. And then we will learn to evaluate this integral, which is from exercise 15.2, question number 53, Thomas Calculus, 12th edition book. So, in order to sketch the region of integration, we need some boundaries, and these boundaries are obtained from the limiting values of the variable. In this question, x is our inner variable and y is our outer variable. The limits of y are 0 to 1 by 16 and the limits of x are y to the power 1 by 4 to 1 by 2. So in order to get some boundaries, we need some equations. So we will equate our inner and outer variables. When we equate our outer variable with its limiting value, we obtain y equal to 0, which is equation of x-axis, and y equal to 1 over 16, which is a horizontal line, which passes to the point y equal to 1 over 16 along y-axis. x equal to 1 by 2 is a vertical line, which passes to the point where x equal to 1 by 2 along x-axis. And y is equal to x raised to power 1 by 4 the equation of power function. You can rewrite this equation as y is equal to x raised to power 4, which is actually a power function. Now, please note that the value of y axis, the value of y in the second boundary is 1 over 16, which is approximately 0 0.0625, a very small value. And the value of x is 1 by 2 in the first third boundary which is 0 0.5. So this region is very narrow region. That's why I have plotted it with the help of some coding. Here you can see this is our x-axis horizontal line. This is origin and this is our y-axis. Now, this is our y equal to 0 equation of x-axis. This horizontal line is actually y is equal to 1 by 16. 1 by 16 is approximately equal to 0 0.0625. And this green line is a vertical line, which is for y, which is for x is equal to 0 0.5. In the next step, we will plot the power function. The graph of power function look like this, this curve. Y is equal, x is equal to y raised to power 1 by 4. Now, after plotting all the four boundaries, please note that this y-axis is not involved in our boundaries. So a closed region which involves all the four boundaries is this one. Where is mouse right now? So we will highlight it. So this highlighted region is our region of integration. After highlighting the region of integration in the next step, we will reverse the order of integration. Reversing the order of integration means we will interchange our inner and outer variable. In the given question, our inner variable was x and inner outer variable was y. So we will interchange it as dy dx. Please note that we cannot simply switch the limits as we switch the inner and outer variable because the limits of outer variable are always constant and limits of inner variable may be constant, may be variable. So if we switch the limit, this rule become violated. As if we switch the limit, then outer limit become variable. So we need some new limits for these inner and outer variable, and these limits will be obtained through this region. As y is our inner variable, so in order to get calculate the limits of inner variable y, we will pass a vertical arrow through this region, just like this. Watch it again. Now, this arrow enters the boundary y equal to 0 and exit through this power function boundary. So from here, we will get the limits of y. Lower limit of y will be 0. And from the upper boundary, you can take the power 4 on both sides. So you will get y is equal to x to power 4, which will give you your upper limit. After calculating, the limits of inner variable through arrow technique, we will calculate the limits of outer variable x. For outer variable, we will always check the range of region along that particular axis. Along x axis, our region starts from origin and ends at 0 0.5. So these are the limits of our outer variable. 
After calculating the limits, we have completed the process of reversal of order of integration. And in the next step, we will evaluate the integral. In order to evaluate this integral, we will separate our inner and outer variable with the help of brackets. We will always solve our inner variable first and then on the outcomes of inner integral, we will apply outer integral. So I have isolated my inner integral and changed its color so that you are focused here. With respect to y, cos of 16 pi x raised to the power 5 is constant. You can take it outside of the inner integral. So we are left with dy only. Integration of dy will be y for the limit 0 to x raised to the power 4. In the next step, we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. So from here, we have limit from 0 to 1 by 2, cos of 16 pi x raised to the power 5 into x raised to the power 4. Please note that in order to integrate cos function, we need the derivative of its angle as a multiplier. Now, the derivative of the angle with respect to x is 80 pi x raised to the power 4. So, there is a deficiency of 80 pi. In order to develop it, we will multiply and divide with 80 pi inside the integral. In order to balance it, we will divide it with 1 by 80 pi outside of the integral. After this, we can evaluate this integral as sine of 16 pi x raised to the power 5 for the limits 0 to 1 by 2. In the next step, we have applied the limits upper limit minus lower limit by replacing x with 1 by 2 and x with 0. Now, sine of 0 is 0 and sine, it will give you sine of 90 and sine 90 is 1. So, we, we have the answer i is equal to 1 over 80 pi, which concludes this question. Thank you so much for watching.